Hello everyone, this is Arup Suyas here, and I just want to quickly talk about uh, some issues that some people have in virtual box. Uh, and it mainly happens probably if you're using maybe some virtual machines within virtual machines, or any kind of device that has a different MAC address. Uh, so in my case, I'm actually talking about uh, if you're running something like uh, a virtual router, like a uh, Cisco C7200 router, uh, inside another, another VM on VirtualBox. Um, so the problem is really because um, VirtualBox expects to see traffic from the MAC address that you've assigned it, okay? And your virtual router normally, especially in like uh, Dynamips and Dynagen, it's going to give your Cisco router a different MAC address. Um, so by default, it will often, well not often, but it will be guaranteed to be blocked. Uh, so here's how you solve that. So I'm just gonna right click on my Mint machine here it uh, doesn't really matter what the OS is, but uh, you know, if you have a situation that, for example, a common symptom is that you can ping uh, from one machine to another, and you can ping from your host. Uh, when I say host, like for example, this Linux Mint machine, uh, if I'd be able to ping my router from it, and I can ping my Linux Mint machine uh, from another virtual machine, uh, then usually means you're having this problem, right? And it's something kind of irrespective of just having a virtual router uh, it's just a symptom of having different MAC addresses coming out of uh, your uh, virtual NIC. Okay, so the way you fix that though is to click on network here. And click on network. Uh, in my case, I'm using a bridge adapter. There's a lot of ways you can do it. Uh, I'll just show you a bridge because I think that's the easiest way. So on that topic, a lot of people ask me, how do I connect my VMs? What is the best way? Uh, if you're in a place where it doesn't matter, like maybe at home uh, or somewhere where you you know you're not going to impact. Uh, any serious operations, hopefully, then bridge is okay. Um, but just be careful, right? Because if you're bridging your actual router onto the network, uh, then you could disrupt things, right? Like if you run a DHCP server, you could break your network that way. Um, so if you're not sure, actually, uh, what I suggest is that there's two ways of doing it. Uh, you could have a bridged adapter, which is really the kind of easiest way if you don't want to do much hacking around. Maybe the safest way is probably to do like an internal network, uh, even host only adapter, um, or even a NAT network, okay? So basically anything other than NAT. And the reason I'm saying that if you're using NAT, it's great in a sense that it gives you a virtual NAT uh, router and IP, uh, but you cannot uh, connect to other guests. And a lot of things like ICMP and many protocols are blocked, so it's very basic. Uh, so that either, basically anything other than NAT is going to allow you to generally connect uh, to your other VMs. Okay, so that's the first thing. Uh, but you probably solve that if your VMs can ping each other. Um, so anyway, regardless of what you have, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what matters here is you see promiscuous mode, uh, it's uh, in deny by default. Okay, so you just want to say allow all. Okay, and if you do that, that's going to solve the problem. And after that, you should see that you can uh, ping another device on there. Just click on OK, and it's going to enable those settings. So something to think about. Uh, another config that some people have, they might actually do something like this. They might have NAT as their primary. Uh, not that NAT, but NAT network. Okay, and then they might have a second adapter, uh, and this is very common. You might use like uh, maybe internal network or NAT network as your secondary one. Okay, so just be aware of, of how you're operating. Uh, it can be a bit confusing if you're not really familiar with you know having multiple NICs. Uh, the idea is that the um, the the NAT, right? If you have it as, as uh, your primary network, that will give you internet, assuming you need it. Generally, for most labs, you shouldn't need it aside from maybe if you have to download something. Uh, so even then, there's other solutions you can find like sharing folders and stuff like that. But I think this is probably the easiest way, uh, maybe to have a bridged adapter. If that's not an option, then I recommend that you just have a, uh, maybe adapter one could be your NAT, and the second one could be your NAT network. Okay, so I hope that helps, and uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully this gets you past any issues uh, where you can't ping another network device behind the virtual machine. Uh, but just remember, though, if you're having that issue, there could be multiple causes, uh, especially so if, if you can't ping, you know, virtual machine to virtual machine, that's something different. It's probably maybe a firewall, uh, maybe your Windows firewall or UFW or IP tables firewall in Linux is enabled. So check those kind of things first. Uh, the other thing you should also check is to make sure that um, uh, make sure that you have proper connectivity in the sense that uh, you have uh, the proper network mode, right? As everything's on that, it's not going to work. Uh, if you're on a different subnet, right, if you haven't assigned uh, all those machines to the same subnet, then that's also not going to work. Okay, so hopefully that helps you solve any of your uh, network connectivity issues.